so um, because I was using my phone, I couldn't switch. <clears throat> so um, today I will be doing a video on Jeremy Krishner and Johannes F. Bostos. <clears throat> so this is um, Order of the Skeleton Key, which has uh, <clears throat> both cosmology and uh, lanterns of wisdom from the firmament. Now, I've been talking about this author for a while on my page, and um, there's quite a few passages here um, that I really think people would like. Um, with cosmology and all that. Particularly cosmology. <clears throat> so, what is cosmology? Cosmology is the author's um, first full-length book on Luciferianism, the Gnostic Path in particular. And it's kind of his version of um, creation and the Genesis story um, where he talks about <clears throat> the serpent uh, liberating man from Yahweh, this demiurgic being. Um, you know, he created us and it was false and so there's a lot of uh, things about that in there. Um, so anybody that is studying Luciferianism really should be reading his stuff. Um, and then the second book that he did was called Lanterns and um, Lanterns of Wisdom from the Firmament. And they both go together because Lanterns is um, an expansion on what he was talking about in cosmology. <clears throat> kind of features a lot of um, his, his theories and also it features um, a lot of poems that he did um, that have to do with Gnostics and uh, Luciferianism. So, he is a Gnostic Luciferian. Um, he believes that Sophia and Lucifer are one and the same. Um, he believes that um, Lucifer is a manifestation of Sophia on Earth. <clears throat> so, he's kind of very similar to uh, me in that respect. And uh, don't mind, don't mind the ferret, he's messing around. <laughs> so um, this is of course his newest one and uh, it's called Sermons to the Serpent Servants. Um, and I just got done with it. And it's really cool book. Um, it's actually, it's, it's a soft paperback, um, this version, but it's, the cover is made out of some type of vinyl, so it doesn't bend, it doesn't crease like a regular paperback. Um, it's really a nice faux leather. And the presentation is really, Cool in it. Um, but basically, it's philosophy that just kind of expands on um, some of his earlier ones. Um, where he talks about um, the Gnostic Jesus as being a redundancy of uh, the serpent liberating man in the Garden of Eden. That's a cool illustration of Lucifer there. Um, 
but he also expands on um, certain theories and all that too. Just, you know, life in general as a... Um, as a Luciferian. So... So, um, so he just kind of goes into that further. Um, <coughs> it's really just this, this philosophical book about his, his ideals and what they have to do with Luciferianism. Um, <clears throat> so I highly recommend you guys get these books. Um, now you can purchase these, um, uh, on his website. Um, so, his website is Lux Pharaohs Press, and um, you can get cosmology separate from lanterns. Um, this just has both of them in it, and then you can get that book also. Now, the other author I want to talk about is Johannes Nefostos. <clears throat> so, Johannes Nefostos um, is a guy from, um, he's out of Finland, and uh, he wrote this Catechism of Lucifer book. Um, and these are English versions. They were translated in English from um, his original language. And they are really, really interesting books. Um, and this one in particular is one of my favorite ones. So he kind of, um, you know, just look at like the, the Ten Commandments here, you know. Take God, worship the spirit alone, above all, honor Satan, the inner master, sanctify darkness, see imperfection in all forms, hate your mother and your father so that you may follow the truth, purify the hate, abandon the violence that binds to form, purify the lust, abandon form, breeding, sexuality, hate life, see the vanity in all creation, abandon the lies of faith and hope, seek and speak but the truth. Worship death, the perdition of all, abandon all secular bonds, despise humanity, make yourself one with the master. <clears throat> so, this book is actually um, derived from <clears throat> um the uh, Christian, I believe it's the Protestant Catechism book, but it could also be Catholic too. Um, this is like his kind of Luciferian version of it. He's got these cool illustrations and all that. And um, <clears throat> it's out of print now, but you can get them from eBay. Um, they are kind of pricey, but the publisher was Ixier, a cult literature here. And um, just really amazing book. Presentation's amazing. Um, this is the uh, faux leather one, um, but they have a real leather one with gold on the paper. And stuff. So it's just a really nice um, book. And then this is his Phosphorus book, which is um, his philosophy on Satanism. Um, and it's got some Luciferian idealisms in it, but mostly um, they're in different sections of the books. So, the first one is about God. Part two is mostly about the Satan. 
Par three um, is about death. And then part four, of course, is the, the practice of magic. Um, five, the, the symbology of Satanism. And then the final is rituals. Um, and then he's got an appendix um, in there. <clears throat> so this is the uh, standard edition. And uh, it's got all the symbols there. And... Um, <clears throat> So, I'm in the process of reading it. I've had it for a while, actually. <clears throat> and I, I just read so much uh, occult books that it, it takes me a while to get through some of these. And, um, but again, this is a great author, guys. <clears throat> again, published by XCR. Um... And uh, translated into English. Um, so, highly recommend that um, you pick this up. Again, it's going to be a little bit pricey because it's out of print. When I bought these books, um, they came out first, so they were a decent price. Now, on eBay, they're pretty expensive. And then finally, this is the newest book um, by him that was translated into English. So, Fall of Lucifer. And um, there's two editions of this. There's one with a icon um, on the cover. And uh, I had to get the standard one because the icon one was really, really expensive as much as I would have wanted to. Yeah. This is probably his most Luciferian one. Um, and again, it's six year. And um, now keep in mind, this is the first English version of this. This book has actually existed before it was translated to English. So, this is more like expanding on Luciferianism, and particularly on Lucifer, and um, finding yourself into kind of this, this abyss, because um, that's typically what it's, um, that's why it's called the Fall of Lucifer. Um, and there is actually a part two of this that has not been released in English and um, it's about uh, Jesus or Yeshua so um, it's more the book expands on both the left hand path and the right hand path so he's not totally against the right hand path um, and he actually argues that there's um there is a lot of worth in both of these uh, traditions and all that. And he does acknowledge in Phosphorus, actually, that uh, Yeshua may very well be a light bringer also. So, um, <clears throat> not much else I can say about these authors. Uh, just really awesome books. I have quite a few occult books um, and fine editions in my library. And, um, you know, I can, I can make more videos about these authors. Um, so that's it. <laughs>